What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on NEO stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we will continue with amazing fundamental news uh, directly related not only to NEO, but uh, to any other Chinese companies that are listed on the US stock exchange. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here several days ago and I've told you that we hit the range of roughly $16 uh, and uh, we had uh, some kind of support at this range and I've told you that we don't have uh, enough confirmation of new uptrend and uh, that's why you have to be cautious with your swing trade position. And as you can see we uh, retested again the $16 price point uh, then bounced back to the upside and I have to say that this bounce uh, was quite massive for more than uh, 12% and uh, we hit uh, the range of resistance uh, as you can see this uh, yellow line and bounced back. So I have to say that uh, for now we have very good uh, movements and uh, most likely we might see some uh, trend continuation to the upside but we have to be cautious and I will show you why I think so. So first of all let me show you the major news that was the driver of uh, all of the Chinese companies. On Reuters.com uh, on April 29th we have this article. Beijing moves uh, to mollify tech bosses as Covid threatens uh, economy. And let me quote you this. Chinese top leaders will meet uh, with the tech executives uh, early next month. A person with knowledge uh, of uh, the matter said on Friday, rising hopes that Beijing will ease off its uh, sweeping regulatory clampdown on the uh, once uh, free willing sector. Beijing is scheduled to hold a symposium with a number of internet companies, in particular those which have been battered uh, by last year's crackdown on the so-called platform economy, said the person. President Xi Jinping is expected to attend and chair the meeting. Authorities are seeking to reassure the corporate executives and encourage them to continue to develop their business under the latest regulatory framework, added the source who declined to be identified due to confidentiality constraints. Uh, the symposium will likely take place after the Labor Day holiday, which lasts uh, from Saturday to next Wednesday. And this means uh, by the end of uh, next week uh, we might see a huge increase in price of all of the Chinese companies. And I have to say that uh, for now, uh, on Friday, we already have uh, some spikes in its prices. And let me go to this. EV stocks surge in Hong Kong as top meeting vows to stabilize China's economy. And as you can see, at press time, NIO was up 6.96% uh, in Hong Kong, Xpeng was up 5.61% and Li Ata was up 7.08%. Uh, and definitely this trend might continue, because uh, on this symposium, most likely we will see some uh, relief uh, in uh, Chinese policy related to tech giants, and most likely we won't see the continuation of uh, its crackdown policy. And that's why all of the Chinese stocks uh, might spike in its price. So, and uh, let's continue with this article. We are on uh, motlyfull.com and uh, it's titled uh, Neo stock soar today, but be war, it could crash. And uh, the main idea of uh, this article is that uh, basically you know that uh, Neo just uh, files uh, its uh, uh, 20F uh, report and you can find it uh, on SEC filings right here. And uh, it is quite long report of more than uh, 180 uh, pages. And uh, right here, let me quote you this. Uh, coming back to NEO, here is the line from its annual report that made me nervous. Therefore, we expect to be identified as a commission identified issuer shortly after the filing of this annual report on Form 20F. This means uh, uh, NEO might be listed uh, in the list of uh, companies that uh, might be delisted from uh, US stock exchange because of uh, the Holding Foreign Companies Accountable Act. 
And um, let me quote you this. Neo revealed that on December 16th, 2021, its auditor was identified as one of the registered uh, public accounting uh, firms that the PCAOB was unable to inspect. Neo therefore expects to find its name on one of uh, SEC's infamous list soon. Uh, if this happens, uh, it could deal a huge blow to investor sentiment in NEO as the SEC is worried that foreign companies not allowing inspection of their financial reports could be potentially hiding important information and misleading investors in the United States. But even if NEO makes uh, it uh, to the list, uh, it will have uh, sufficient time to dispute uh, its uh, inclusion and eventually comply with the HFCAA. Also just being named by the SEC in uh, no way means uh, NEO stock will get delisted. And uh, I partially agree with uh, this uh, article because, uh, uh, let me show you right here, we know that Lee Otto was uh, added to this list uh, on April 22nd. And let me show you that on April 22nd, right here, Lee Otto went lower for about uh, 7%. And on the one hand, it is quite a big decrease in its price, but on the other hand, uh, Lee Otto was at that moment uh, on downtrend. And uh, let me show you NEO price action at the same range. Uh, NEO also was down from this point uh, to this one for exactly the same percentage. This means, in my opinion, if NEO will be added to this list, it won't affect uh, the company at all, in my opinion. So, and let's continue with the good news uh, directly related to NEO. Right here on cnvpost.com we have this article that is titled NEO sees first tooling trial builds uh, of ET5 roll of line. Uh, the ET5 uh, set to begin deliveries in September is being produced at NEO's second production facility in NEO Park, which uh, marked uh, the first anniversary of its construction on April 29th. And I have to say that it is the huge milestone, because the uh, ET5 uh, model, in my opinion, will be the best selling model of NEO. And uh, let me quote you this. NEO today saw the first tooling trial builds uh, of the ET5 sedan roll of uh, the production line paving the way for the model's expected delivery in September. The ET5 uh, is the first model to be produced at uh, the site and uh, this latest development marks the completion of the site's production line ready for the production validation, NEO said in a press release today. And this major milestone will lead to much higher deliveries for NEO and uh, that's why, in my opinion, we have a huge long-term catalysts uh, for this company. One of them is uh, the relief uh, in a strict uh, Beijing policy related to tech giants and the, uh, and the next one is uh, ET5 uh, production. And uh, let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, uh, as usual, we have uh, two approaches. If you want to enter your swing trade position, and I have to say that for now we have, potentially we have this setup, because we have a lot of uh, good news that might drive uh, the price of NEO this week. And because of this, we might enter our swing trade position at the current price and we have to put uh, the stop loss order slightly below this uh, previous bottom. And uh, it will be in downside potential of about uh, 6%, but the upside potential for this trade might be falling. To this uh, first swing high, it might be up to 22% of potential profits. Next swing high might be up to 43% of potential profits. And it is the price point of uh, 24.31. This means uh, even to to this uh, range, uh, the risk to reward ratio is very lucrative and it is more than uh, 3.7 to 1. And uh, definitely, if you are a long term investor, in my opinion, just accumulate on every daily red candle and uh, this uh, asset will give you huge profits uh, in upcoming years. So, I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing okay